hundreds of thousands of men and women have gathered in Washington to challenge President Trump's administration the day after his inauguration. They came from around the country, from all walks of life, and for many, it was a kind of counter-inauguration. Among the crowds were Anita Adoba from Texas and Cheryl McFarren from Ohio, who had driven ten and a half and seven hours respectively to get to the demonstration. I'm here because I want Trump to, to understand that he may be president, but he's not my president. I'm here because a whole bunch of people that couldn't be here. <laughs> oh, right. I'm here for them. I'm here for the future of this country. I'm here because Trump's America is not my America. And it is actually not America, period. From I'm Bethlehem. Cheryl McFerrin, and I'm from Granville, Ohio. And why are you here today? Well, I want, um, I think I want the world to know that love trumps hate. And we're here to uh, put forward the majority's agenda, which is love and rights and equality and equity and um, fairness and cooperation. Um, we're connected. We're not individuals. And um, that's why I'm here. I'm Nathan, and I'm from Atlanta. And I'm here to support my girlfriend, my mom, my friends, and any women that are having their rights fought against because women's rights are human's rights and it shouldn't be something that has to be fought for, but in these times it's something that needs to be fought for. What do you think about his prospects for his presidency? Uh, I think it's a lot of hot air. I mean, it's stuff that he says so people like him and want to support him, but he won't actually come true on most of it, I feel like. My name is Linda Stein and I'm from Fayetteville, West Virginia. And why are you here today, Linda? I'm here because um, I feel like our rights, not just women's rights, but people's rights in this country are being trampled and that we have a president who's clueless um, and that he's making really bad cabinet choices. Um, and that we need to stand up and protect our rights and protect public education, protect women's health rights, pro abortion, access to safe contraception. And I feel like our elections are questionable. Only really rich people can run for office. I mean, it goes on and on. And in our own state of West Virginia, it's you know, people, a huge number of people gained access through the Affordable Care Act to health coverage, and they don't even realize that they're going to lose it when, um, if the Affordable Care Act goes away. The event was supported by a number of celebrities, including actress Scarlett Johansson, and Madonna made a surprise appearance. I respect that you are our president-elect, and I want to be able to support you. But first, I ask that you support me. Woo! Support my mother. Support my best friend and all of our girlfriends. Support the men and women here today that are anxiously awaiting to see how your next moves may drastically affect their lives. Support my daughter who may actually, as a result of the appointments you have made, grow up in a country that is moving backwards, not forwards, and who may potentially not have the right to make choices for her body and her future that your daughter Ivanka has been privileged to have. I can't even say his name. This, is, this song is dedicated to the new DT in the White House. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. D could stand for dick. <laughs> Singer Alicia Keys also performed at the Women's March. I rise up from a past that is rooted in pain. I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide. Welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak that is wondrously clear. 
I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of the slaves.